friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I am just working on repackaging some of my pantry goods today. Um, I've got things like um, powdered milk, dry milk, um, things that I don't necessarily go through very quickly and so I want to make sure that it is in a more stable storage um, container. And so I'm repackaging uh, into these mylar bags. That way they are a little more shelf stable and better for long-term storage. I always keep some in a jar to use in recipes and things, um, but I'm not gonna go through a whole bunch of it all at once. And so I like to repackage it, make it a little more shelf, shelf stable. And then I, as I need it, I can open these up and use them and they're good to go. So while I'm doing this, I thought I would share with you, um, the other day I was going through my files on my computer. I realized I had filmed this video several months ago and I never shared it. And back around, gosh, I don't even remember what month it was now. It was a few months ago. I went on a little bit of a road trip up to further Northwest Arkansas for a pottery festival. And while I was in the area, I swung into Whole Foods to pick up a couple of things because we don't have a Whole Foods or anything like that around here. And uh, while I was there, I noticed a fresh loaf of ciabatta bread. And I thought, oh, I need to pick this up because I have a recipe I need to refilm <laughs> or I need to rephotograph. Um, this particular recipe has been on my website for years. As a matter of fact, as of this moment, the, the post with the recipe still says the foodie army wife in the photos. That's how long it's been on my website. Um, and if you don't know the story of, of my website and how it came to be Cosmopolitan Cornbread, I do have a video about that and I will share it in the video description down below if you'd like to watch it. But I brought that ciabatta bread home so I could make this recipe. And it is for kind of a carby sort of side dish. Uh, you can't really call it a dish, but a side. Um, you've got garlic bread, Texas toast, stuff like that. This is for a cheesy olive feta bread, and it is so good. It is so hearty. You know, you could make this as a side for with pasta or something like that, or with soups, but I will make this and that'll be it and it's this will be dinner because <laughs> it's just so hearty and it's so good and so I'm going to share with you that recipe right here So to begin this recipe, you're going to combine a half a cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of softened butter in a mixing bowl. And you're gonna whisk this all together until it's nice and smooth. Add in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You'll add in about a cup of crumbled feta cheese. You'll add in about a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella. Mix these all together. And then we're gonna chop up some olives. I like to use a mix of olives, Kalamata olives, green olives. You can use your favorites here. And I'm just gonna give these a rough chop. Altogether, it'll be about a cup of olives.
And then we're gonna mix this all together. Now we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna spread it all over a loaf of bread that we've split in half. Now you can use Italian bread or French bread, but my favorite to use is ciabatta bread. Because when you bake this, it gets a nice crunchy crust. We're gonna spread this cheesy mixture all over the top of the bread and cover it all the way to the edges. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven at 325 degrees for 20 minutes. And then we'll turn the oven to broil and broil it for just a couple of minutes, very carefully watching it and let it get a little bit golden on top. Let this cool for a couple of minutes and then slice it up and serve. You can serve this with another dish or just enjoy it all by itself. All right, friends, if you would like to make that recipe, you can, of course, get a printable version of it on my website where you can print it out, you can save it on Pinterest and all of that. And again, if you make any of my recipes, please go back and leave me a five-star rating on the recipe card. That helps the search engines know that my recipes are good and it really helps me out and helps people find my website. So that is it for today. I'm gonna continue working on my pantry. Thanks for spending time with me here again at the homestead. I'll talk to you next time.